this lecture we are going to for two topic and which is creating compute engine in VM and connecting to VM instance okay so in the first chapter of compute VM we will go through the introduction and the next would be creating virtual machine using GUI and the next would be creating instance using GC cloud and then we do some lab exercise okay so just recap VM computer engine is useful when we need ultra high performance using persi uh, persistent SSD so ultra I mean we when we need very high SSD or high performance engine and local SSD and GPU and high memory and compute power also when when container or chest is not required VM are very essential part of many infrastructure even virtual private cloud VPC is also created using compute engine so VPC is also created using compute engine workloads such as 3d rendering which require multiple GPU so GPU is required like machine learning all those things is required very high GPU or batch processing in cost efficient manner using primitive instance are the great example of VM use case so let's creating VM machine creating VM using GUI so this is the GCP I have uh, installed uh, I have created a, a screenshot here so creating the VM instance you need to go in Google Cloud under google cloud we have compute engine under compute engine we go to vm instance so vm instance you can see the vm instance create instance important vm refresh start stops and so in top panel so these are the methods uh, we click on the create instance this is create instance so this will open from containing all property of compute engine let's understand the field one by one name is the use okay so we are understanding the here name is the user defined name required for this project label this is a key pair based on value which help to filtering the searching of resources for example you can add label for instance as purple of demo reason and john this is geographical location of instance this is more to close to user and less will be the latency so the reason is near to the user the latency will be less because the data is near machine configuration you can also choose machine type of specify you need keeping on i that price sold on the right side of the form if you expand the cpu so this is the instance this is label this is the reason this is john this is general purpose so the machine configuration we have three types you can see like general purpose compute optimized memory optimized gpu so three things general compute memory and gpu then series is it uh, machine type uh, usually one machine have 4 gb ram so so available option created instances follow from a standard public image from custom image to any other project from same so this one we learn in the last chapter about four types uh, like public image custom image snapshot image means like incremental image from existing boot, uh, boot table disk uh, other, other things so this is what we are talking and the next one we identity and api access you can select existing service account of the vm default one in uh, uh, okay firewall this is the shortcut for allowing http https traffic the firewall can be configured using the tags as well so this is uh, things we are talking and this one is boot disk we can change or we can use the existing service account allow default access allow for full access of our cloud api and the firewall you okay so so once you click on this will create so expand of uh, management and security section clicking on the next your multiple uh, after the next uh, we will get this way startup script 
primitivity so startup script any software installation or os level command we will use this section and primitivity this uh, instance primitive select or drop down to change the price when you make the instance primitive so this is management security disk network and solid tenancy and the startup script which we talking metadata so this one we talk about the topic in previous section if you have any doubt you can watch my previous lecture and then we select the add button add button will show availability policy primitive of recommendation host instance migrate vm instance recommendation you can change also or uh, automatic restart if failure so these are the things you choose once then hit the create button notice the how fast the linux instance boot up you won't able to you know the connect the instance as of now for the next lesson we will see how to resolve the issue and how to create connected instances creating instance using gc so we as of now we did using the web browser and uh, now we can use also you know the gc gc g cloud just g cloud google cloud there is another way to create using uh, sdk so previous lecture also you watch we use g cloud beta compute then project project name instance create instance to join is us so here we need to remember names and everything you will not get in drop down okay so this is a command you can download sdk at local okay or you can use the web browser and to start cli okay so these are parameter we need to was gc cloud beta community instance list you can see the list and then we can choose this is terminal you can try so uh, i think uh, and this is the i will i will uh, add this lab lecture in the video so you can work on the lab uh, as well as okay so this is the lab ex exercise you can do setups this one have everything and it is also free it will take 34 uh, minute uh, i think good part for exercise and learning about you know the vm so all the things they have okay so now that we are going for the next as i said before so connecting to vm instance so previous we did creating compute engine vm now we are going for connected connecting to vm instance okay so this section we will uh, learn about linux window and cleanup so linux we use ssh cli client okay so come to connect linux instance we use ssh so the ssh is a cell script like we connect this is simplest method to connect linux instance google cloud provide a, a in browser ssh support click on us so in browser also we have ssh you can use this one uh, using you know ssh cli you can also gc cloud client at local uh, i mean your gc cloud config set project project hardy you need to pass like uh, com, com, g cloud compute ssh then john name and then username and host name all those things you need to pass like this one and then you need to so enter the black parenthesis while blanking ssh key and so these are the key here compute engine meta then meta and ssh key under meta ssh key we can see here okay so one okay so uh, under we can see the key uh, okay so uh, we are here uh, third party client also normally you would not using project wide ssh key in production most of the time project wide ssh key are disabled for security reason in this case you need to manage ssh key or for instance so you will use project uh, ssh key section and it uh, so these are the uh, basic unix command you might have know i will provide this link in my video in the description section so you can learn about this one i think it's a good exercise for you guys okay and so this is how the ssh usually we use git seven everywhere when we use for macbook so i hope you know about this one so thank you for watching please like subscribe my 
channel also if you don't understand this chapter please watch my previous lecture so you will understand about this one so thank you again for watching